guys, I'm Justin Atneal, manager and controller for TAG. We are an outsourced accounting firm in Southern California. We focus on providing accounting help and software solutions to companies with specific industry needs. I've been handling accounting and finance in the manufacturing industry for over eight years. I have experience helping companies optimize their accounting systems to produce accurate reports and meaningful data for owners to make better business decisions on a daily basis. So first off, you want to make sure that you thoroughly review the month and inventory numbers. And we'll go into why this is important. Usually you're going to want to review what your warehouse manager or inventory manager's month and inventory figures are. And then you're going to want to go ahead and take a look at your balance sheet inventory figure to see if those are matching or if there are any variances. And if there are variances, you're going to need to adjust your books to match your true inventory level. If there are large variances, we need to figure out why. This could be because of multiple issues. One is either shrink if you're losing inventory or there's theft happening. So it's very important to address that variance. The second could be software issues to where um, there is zero cost happening and we're actually going to create a write-up to address this in more detail. But all in all, you're going to want to look at your ending actual inventory and book an adjustment to your cost of goods sold and ending inventory to make sure it matches what your true inventory is in your warehouse. And number two, review inventory quantities within your accounting system. And what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take a look at your item list within the software you're using, whether it be QuickBooks or whichever software you have internally, you're going to want to look to make sure you don't have any items on your item list that have a zero quantity. Because within many accounting systems I've seen, QuickBooks is one that's specific. I know a lot of users use that. If there's a zero cost there, it wouldn't properly reflect in your cost of goods sold and it'll cause issues in ending inventory. So you always want to look at your item list and make sure that you properly have the right inventory on hand. And number three, sales orders review AR. This one's going a bit out on a limb, but I've seen this issue many times when I go ahead and review the profit loss and balance sheet for manufacturing companies. Because in manufacturing, when you either create an invoice or sales order, sometimes the items don't ship within a three to six months or one month. It's very important to utilize sales orders. That way it does not reflect on your profit loss or balance sheet and you can still uh, convert those to invoices and check your sales order backlogs. A lot of times people are invoicing when they shouldn't be. It should only be a sales order and it causes a very large accounts receivable, an overstated revenue, and it doesn't give owners a clear picture on what they need to see to make proper decisions. If you have any questions or need any help with your manufacturing system or any accounting questions, please feel free to email us at sales at teamtag.net. Thank you.